Hi, this is Mike Vogt from Ally Electronics with a Technical Service Bulletin. Today's topic will be Wayne Dispenser Programming relative to the point of sale configuration. This is important because if the configuration is incorrect at either the dispenser or point of sale level, you'll be unable to authorize a dispenser. In some cases, the dispenser may not even come online. So on this slide here, you see uh, on the left we'll have the model dispenser and on the right we have the POS fueling point positions. The the grade to hose mapping in the point of sale must match how it's mapped in the dispenser. And each model type of the Wayne blender dispenser differs. So for example, on the left hand side here we have a 395. If you look, so diesel is uh, programmed in the dispenser itself to be in the first position. And the fourth position is high, the fifth position is blend, and the sixth is low. Now where that comes into play is when the POS when there when the POS is programmed in a POS configuration, diesel must match this. So diesel has to be in a first hose position. In the fourth hose position, the high grade must be programmed there. Fifth um, would be the blend, six would be the low. You can also check the blend ratio here as well. Uh, at this point, we'll, we'll get into that later. But that the, the blended grade uh, when we ch when we check this later will, will also come up. So for now, you can see how these differ. So a 580, 590U, you can see in the third position you have the high grade, in the fifth position you have the blend, seven's low. Um, again, if you were to not match that, so for example, let's just say we're have, doing the 580 here, and you see the high grade. If we were to put the high grade in any other position except for three, it would not work. Um, the same thing with the blend, the blended grade, any, if it didn't match this. A lot of times what happens is we don't know or you don't have the luxury of knowing, especially with the ovation dispensers, um, of how they're mapped because they can become mapped from, um, from the factory uh, with a, a, different, um, a different mapping scheme. So what we want to go over is our Wayne blenders and our critical checklist. So what we want to do is we want to check the dispenser grade mapping and the blend ratio via mode 18. And we're going to give you an example of that a little bit later in this, um, <clears throat> in this presentation. Um, you want to confirm the POS grade to hose mapping matches mode 18. So whatever mode 18 has, the POS has to match exactly. And then finally, we're going to look at um, the blend ratio, which mode 18 will show us the blend ratio. And the blend ratio record from the POS needs to match. One thing that you need to be aware of is when we get the uh, the blended product from the dispenser, it's going to give us the blend of high. So, for example, if the dispenser comes back and it tells us that the blend um, the blended ratio or the blended product is 30, that means when we go to program it in a point of sale, it's going to be the inverse. It's going to be 70. And the reason for that is uh, the way the point of sale record works is it says my blended product is a blend of my low product and my high product and it's a percentage of my low. So again, it would be 70, where in, where in the um, dispenser it would have been 30. Okay, welcome back. So on this section, we're actually gonna show you, uh, this is a lab unit um, that we have set up, and we're already in mode 18, so we're gonna show you how to check the, um, the grade to hose mapping. This particular one is set up to be in hose positions three, five, and seven. So the high grade is in position three, You'll see the blend is in the five and the low is in seven. So you see these numbers up here. 18 represents mode 18, one represents side one, and then one here represents that it's hose position one. This value here, 101 means not used. If it's any other value, uh, you can see that it is used. So for example, one one not used, position two, hose position two is not used, it's 101. Hose position three is 100. Uh, so we know that 100 represents um, our high grade. So we know our high grade is in the third position. Four is not used. It has a value of 101. The fifth, fifth position has a value of 40. So 40 re represents our blend ratio. So we know uh, that the blend <laughs> ratio is 40%. Sixth is 101, not used. Seven is zero. So that represents um, the percentage of it's 0% of the high grade, it's actually our low grade. So um, our low grade would be in the seventh position. Now, you'll see what will happen is 
this advance this number advances to two. All that means is it's side two of the dispenser. And you'd go through the same thing to make sure it matches. Um, you have 101, hose position two is 101, hose position three is 100. And then you have uh, four is 101, five is your blend, which is 40, six, 101, seven is your low. So that's how you would check that. And then what you would do is you would make sure that that matches up uh, with whoever's programming the point of sale, that those match. Now we showed you that the blend ratio, uh, if we go back, we went back, that it was uh, 40%. And we talked in a previous, in the slide presentation, we talked about that uh, Wayne takes a percentage of high. In the POS, you'd actually take, uh, it takes a percentage of low. So what it'll do is it'll say the blended product is uh, a, a percentage, a blend between the low and high grade and it's 60% of the low in this case. Now, one thing you want to uh, also keep in mind is if the site has multiple dispensers or say a site was uh, just started, uh, multiple dispensers were delivered, check all the dispensers. Don't just assume that because you checked one that they all have the same blend ratio. There, it, it is programmable, so it can change. So um, you would want to make sure that they're all the same. Otherwise, you're going to get a blend ratio error um, and it's not going to, those, those fueling points will not work. Uh, we hope you found this technical service bulletin helpful, and we look forward to uh, presenting more technical service bulletins in the future. Thank you.